Hi everyone, I am going to do a quick update on my plum paper planner. Um, it is June and so I've had it for six months now. Uh, and so I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about how it's working for me, what I'm liking, what I'm not liking, all that kind of stuff. Um, so this is my second year using a plum paper planner and to be honest, it's been kind of a crazy six months, what with having my daughter and all. Um, there are weeks when I live by this, literally there's so much going on that I have to have this in front of me all day long. And then there's times when I literally don't look at it for a couple of weeks because nothing new is really going on and it's just the same stuff. So, you know, it, it, it gets different amounts of use. Um, some of the new features that I got in it, um, I really like their new page with the goals and everything on the front here. I use that most months, <laughs> a couple months I didn't, uh, but most of them have at least a couple things jotted down, a couple notes on the pages. I do always use the um, full page uh, um, month calendar. That's my main thing that I use on here. And then there's a lot of weeks that are completely blank. And then there's other weeks, like I said, that I write everything in. I don't think I used it hardly at all in February. <laughs> um, I am loving my to-do lists. I've been using this for uh, work tasks, for just all kinds of things, just to remember and do and check off. And that has been wonderful. I absolutely love that. Uh, the bills page I used a month or two of and then not so much. Um, primarily the reason that I haven't been using the My Bills, I, I got it originally because I was losing track of the bills and would always freak out, oh my gosh, is something due? And it would kind of drive me nuts. Um, and so I thought I was going to use this, but I don't think I necessarily need it um, because I primarily moved over to a new budgeting system. I now make my own Excel sheets. I have been using envelope software for years and I loved it until it stopped connecting to my bank and lost money in our envelopes and it, it just was a nightmare. So now that I do my own sheet and I will do a video on that in the future and share that. Um, I really don't have such a problem keeping track of bills because I'm seeing and writing down what goes in and what comes out and I know kind of the main bills we have. So, eh, it's okay, but I don't think I would get it again. So those are kind of the main things in here um, that I use a lot. Uh, where is June? Um, I did get a bunch of stickers and I did a sticker haul um, I will link to and I, I used a couple of them <laughs> but I really haven't used a lot of them mostly because you know like the laundry stickers I do laundry every day I'll be putting a sticker every day um, and I just haven't had a lot of things where I've scheduled greater in advance or sat down to do a whole week or you know I just don't have time for that. <laughs> so I, I, I like the sticker idea and I love seeing people's decorated planners, but I just haven't quite done that. Um, in the back, I did get the blog um, add-on in the back and I love it. I really, really love it. Um, previously, I had used the blog planner, my blog planner, I can't even remember what it was. Um, and, and it was fine, but I really wanted to put it in one book instead of two. Um, and I love the monthly. You get to put ideas and your post schedule and everything for every single month. That has been super, super helpful. In addition to the stats overview, um, that has been, where is it? It has an income and expense. I really haven't used that too much, but... Um, post ideas, haven't really used that either because I pretty much just use the monthly ones. Uh, but this one, the monthly blog stats, um, all your social media, I try to do this on Sunday mornings. I'm not too consistent about it, but I'm getting better. Um, and that's just been really great to see the numbers grow and everything. 
to-do list, really haven't used that. Haven't used the advertising. Haven't used, <laughs> haven't used most of the stuff in here. Giveaways um, or the annual blog planner, which I'm not even sure what you're supposed to do with this because it has the monthly pages. I, I don't know. That's primarily what I use is the monthly pages, the planner, um, the planning of individual posts, and then the stats. And I love it and definitely will get that again and continue to get that. Um, and I use that both for my blog, um, my website, and for YouTube. So that has been working great. Um, and that's just what I've been doing with my Plum Planner. Um, if you have any questions, I'll leave them in the comments below. I still highly recommend Plum Planners. Um, and it just, it works for me and I really like it. Uh, if you hadn't seen in my other videos, which I will link below, um, I have the family planner. So I have all of my different categories. I have for me, my husband, my daughter, to-dos, um, and each of my three businesses has their own little box. And I, I do try to plan out things, but right now life is so crazy that I don't have a lot of time to sit down and put specific tasks for each day, but sometimes I do. Yeah, so that's a little update on six months in, what I am loving about my planner. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will see you next time.